This is C.J. Baker, and this is the ongoing history of protest music. So a couple of months ago, I recorded a video where I scrolled through the top 100 protest albums according to Rate Your Music. So I decided today to do something similar with socks. So as mentioned in that previous video, Rate Your Music is a website you can catalog what you listen to, assign ratings, and generate different charts based on different criteria. Like you can generate charts based on year, genres, and you can also generate charts based on descriptions. So, for example, protest music is not a musical genre, but it is a description that's used to describe different types of music. So what I decided to do today is generate a chart that shows the top rated songs that use protest in its description. And it's good to know that these are songs that specifically use the word protest as a description because no doubt, I'm sure there's going to be protest songs that maybe were excluded just because it didn't have the protest description. So we'll get right into the list. But just one thing to note, before we get to the top 100, it looks like there's some notable albums that just missed the top 100. So we got Taxman by The Beatles, which I don't necessarily always thought of as a protest song, but technically it is. It was protesting the high rate of taxes that the band members had to pay, so they didn't like being in a high tax bracket. But it'll be interesting to see if Taxmen just missed the top 100. They have a couple of songs that are even more socially conscious, so it'll be interesting to see if Revolution or Blackbird make the top 100. And then the one song that really stood out to me was Mississippi Goddamn by Nina Simone. So this is definitely a song that, as far as I'm concerned, should be on the top 100. And I'm surprised it wasn't, but maybe it's just not OYM core. But it's probably Nina Simone's most explicitly political song. And I would say probably your most well-known protest song, but she is a very important socially conscious artist. So it'll be interesting to see if she happens to have any songs on the top 100, maybe possibly Four Women or maybe Young Gifted and Black. And then the other one I'm going to mention is if you tolerate this, your children will be next. So I actually didn't really necessarily immediately think of this as a protest song, but I do love the tune. So it's one of my favorite songs of that time period. And I can see where you can make the definition of protest songs because it's definitely making the statement that if you don't stand up to injustices, the next generation will suffer. And then, of course, we also got the Smiths. Barbarianism begins at home. And the album it's off of me is Murder is probably the Smiths most political album. So it'll be interesting to see if the Smiths have anything in the top one hundred. So the proper one hundred list, we begin with Guns of Brixton by The Clash. So yeah, fantastic song. Fantastic album, London Calling, one of the best albums of all time. I'm suspecting that there's going to be a number of Clash tunes. We got Def, who um, I mean, I've heard of, but I had never done a deep dive into them. Sepultura, so they're definitely a really important fresh metal band from Brazil. This also labels them as group metal. So there's elements of that. So yeah, Refuse and Resist. Great protest song. Stan by Sly and the Family Stones. That's the title track. 
and I've I've listened to it in the past, but I recently re-listened to it in a 1969 deep dive that I'm doing, and yeah, it's a five star album, and definitely a great protest song. So 96, we got Born Free by M.I.A. I'm suspecting it's probably not the last M.I.A. song. If I have to guess, Paper Planes is probably going to be highly ranked. But yeah, definitely a powerful protest song with a very provocative music video. 95, Muddle by Idols. And I do like Idols. They're 2018 album joy as an act of resistance is one of my favorites of 2018 94 we got nas which it's not the first nas song i think of but he's a very important socially conscious rapper we got fur disclosure by fugazi yes i'm assuming this is not going to be the only fugazi song Intervention by RK Fire. That album, Neon Bible, is basically the most socially conscious album that RK Fire released. And this song in particular is an incisive critique of religious hypocrisy. Then we got Death Grips, which they are political bands, so it doesn't surprise me that they would have at least one song. But I'm going to be honest, I've never fully got into Death Grips, and I might have to do a deeper dive into them. Power and Sacrifice by Swans. So the album that it's off of is one of my favorite albums of 91. It was a five-star album for me. And then we got another Fugazi song. We're going to have probably a couple more of those. Two Minutes to Midnight by Iron Maiden. So I actually discussed this when I made a list of 1984 protest songs and protest albums. I mentioned it under the album Power Slave as well. But it looks like this is actually a live version of the song. But yeah, the song is a critique of basically the Cold War hysteria at the time and the two minutes to midnight is a reference to the doomsday clock and how close we are to destruction. We seven bring the noise by Public Enemy. So it's not necessarily one of the more political tunes, but it is still hard hitting and all the songs have a degree of politicalness. Yeah, so it's off Take a Nation of Millions, which is an all time classic album. And I'm suspecting there's going to be at least a couple of other public enemy songs, or at least there should be. We got Vietnam by Minutemen. So it'll be interesting to see if they have any more, because that might be the most political too. But even that entire album has a number of notable socially conscious tunes. Yeah, it looks like at 84, we got the first. Kendrick Lamar tune off the Pimp a Butterfly. So yeah, one of the most important socially conscious albums of all time. And it's kind of weird that you got an interlude making the top 100. But I can see a number of songs off that album being on here. And then we got The Drones, Super John Stevens, and then yeah, this is one that's a little bit surprising, not because it's on top of 100, but because it's only 81. So Strange Fruit by Barry Holiday. So this is basically one of the most important songs of all time. So yeah, it surprises me a little bit, but maybe it's just the type of music that maybe isn't entirely all YM core. But yeah, the, this anti-lynching classic is one of the best protest songs of all time. So yeah, it definitely should be higher ranked than 81. So we'll now go to the next page here. So we now got 
Number 80, Nazi Punks Fajja by Dead Kennedys. And yeah, this is a very direct protest song. So it does, doesn't pull any punches. And it's also just, uh, I believe it's about a minute and a half or so. So it's very short and direct. It'd be interesting to see if the Dead Kennedys have any other songs on the list. It's just about everything they did at the definition of protest. So yeah, we got another Ken Lamar off to Pimp the Butterfly. So once, like I said, there's probably going to be a few off that album. Child in Time, Deep Purple. So it looks like it's the live version. It's, yeah, I generally don't associate Deep Purple as protest, but I guess that would be a socially conscious song. It's a sin by Pet Shop Boys, which not so I immediately think of protest, but I believe maybe it's a commentary on sex, sexual politics, so it probably meets the definition. The Queen is Dead by the Smiths. Okay, not a huge surprise. The Queen is Dead. It's probably not quite as political as Meet as Murrow, but it's definitely a socially conscious album, and the title track definitely qualifies as a socially conscious tune. Ghost Town by the Specials, and the Specials in particular are maybe the most political two-tone ska band, possibly, but regardless, that a lot of songs are socially conscious, such as Ghost Town, and then we got some, actually got two songs in a row by Fellow Kute and the Africa 70. And I'm suspecting that these might not be the last two because basically the Afrobeat pioneer, Fellow Kuti, he just about every song he's recorded is, could be considered a protest tune, another Fugazi song. No surprise there. Then we got a tune by Kino who's the basically a uh, Russian rock band who had a huge following in Russia. And I think I commented on it a little bit in the album video, so I'm not overly familiar with their music. And of course, the lyrics are in Russian, but they were considered somewhat of a, like politically speaking, they were somewhat of a controversial band that the government wasn't too fond of like the USSR didn't particularly like dissension among individuals. Then we got a Metallica tune. But I think a political Metallica tune, so this isn't the first one that will come in mind. But a lot of their songs do touch upon social issues. And the album it's off of, Master of Puppets, is def definitely a social commentary on the political climate and the idea that there's people behind the scenes, powerful forces that pull the string. So once again, two minutes to midnight, that looks like this is the studio version that is off of Power Slave, Zombie by the Cranberries. So yeah, a well-known protest song, a huge hit. It comments on things that were going on within Ireland and definitely a powerful anti-war tune. Prison Song by System of Down. This is off Toxicity. So a lot of System of Down songs touch upon political issues and obviously this song does. It's a anti-prison protest song. The next song, I don't really want to try to butcher the pronunciation. But I noticed the name Rationales MCs also appeared on the 100 album list. And I said I need to check it out. I'm going to be honest, I haven't yet. Okay, then we got the Smiths again, the Head Match Master Ritual. And this is off of Meet His Murder, which, as I mentioned previously, is the Smiths probably the most explicitly political song. We got something by Ice Cube here. Um, don't want to get in trouble with reading the whole title. But yeah, a lot of Ice Cube's music is politically charged. 
Rockin' in the Free World by Neil Young. This was a protest of Bush's senior administration and addresses a lot of issues that were going on in the States. It continues to be relevant. And then we got this heat, the band that, to be honest, I've never fully looked into, but I know that they all consider a political band. Charlie Garcia. So once again, someone I'm not overly familiar with, but I know that they also appeared in the best album. And I mentioned them, I, I'm going to need to look a bit more deeply into them. We got Manic Street Preachers. So a song by them, A Design for Life. Yeah, the Manic Street Preachers are a band that quite often touch upon political issues. Okay, 56, Redemption Song by the Raylos. But yeah, this is a little bit of a surprise because as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the most important songs of all time. So this would easily be top 10, maybe top five protest songs if I was to make this list. So yeah, I'm surprised that it's only 56. We got High Power by Kendrick Lamar. So this is our Section 80. It's a really good song. Section 80 was a good album, but sometimes it gets overlooked a little bit because Kendrick Lamar released a couple of gold albums. But yeah, High Power could be considered somewhat of a mission statement. So yeah, we got Another Brick in the Wall, Part 2 by Pink Floyd. We don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. So yeah, Powerful Tune off a Powerful Concept album. And the concept album wasn't necessarily political per se, but it did touch upon political issues. And it ended up becoming political when... The album was kind of adopted in connection with the fall of the Berlin Wall. Reagan by Carol Mike. So this is not just a scathing critique of the Reagan administration and Reaganomics, but it also touches upon how just about every president that followed Reagan continued to basically be a puppet for we can almost say, I guess, corporate and capitalistic and lobbyist type interest. So it's a powerful, hard hidden tune. I'd be interested to see if any one of the jewels make this list. So we got Rock the Kabash or Kaspar, Rock the Kaspar by The Clash, 52. But I think uh, protest songs by The Clash, I wouldn't necessarily immediately think of this one. I think they definitely have songs that are more politically direct. So this is definitely more of like a commercial tune by them. But it is a protest song. It basically, it's protesting against Middle Eastern countries that banned rock music. So that's basically what it's protesting against. And it is a catchy tune. So I'm not mad at it being there. So we got another Fel Kuti song, some Curtis Mayfield, who's very political. He basically wrote some important civil rights movements tunes with the impressions. And those songs were a bit more gospel tinge. But this song, Don't Worry, If There's a Hell Below, We're All Gonna Go. This is a bit more hearted and funky, but definitely a powerful tune. We got New Noise by Refused off a Shape of Punk to Come, which is an excellent album. But the song itself is definitely hearted and banging. And it's basically it's about anti-conformity. So we got Queen, which I never immediately think of the protest song, but maybe I just have to dig deeper into that. We got Youth of America by Wipers. And the Wipers are an important band that sometimes get overlooked. They were from Portland in the, I think, late 70s, early 80s. But basically, the sound helped 
kind of draw up the template for grunge. If they had a lot of those grunge type elements in the loud, quiet dynamics and other different aspects. And Kurt Cobain definitely cited them as an influence. And a lot of the songs did touch upon different political themes. Let's just scroll down a little bit more. Yeah, so I mentioned this before that Blackbirds by the Beatles might end up being on this list, and it is. So this song was definitely inspired by the civil rights movement, and basically Blackbird could also be a reference to Black Girl that was about different individuals that took their stand during the era of segregation. And then we got Black Eagle by Diggable Planets. So a lot of their songs, so actually maybe not a lot, I think just about every song they did would be socially aware. And a lot of the songs address themes like Black Empowerment and Black Eagle is definitely an example of that. And the album that's off of Blowout Home. It's a really strong album and very important in the evolution of jazz rap. And then Sunday, Bloody Sunday. This might be actually be the first U2 song that I noticed on the list. This might be the most explicitly political. So it's possible that it's going to be the only tune by them, but they have a couple of other songs that could possibly be on there. So let's scroll down a little bit more. Number 40 is Fight the Power by Public Enemy. And yeah, this, I don't want to use the word shock, but I'm surprised a little bit because I think of this as definitely a contender for best protest song of all time. It's a definitely an all-time anthem. I think the very least I'd probably have it in my top five. I think number one, like I said, would be Strange Fruit. Um, I won't say my number two yet because it's possible it's going to be on here. But I'd probably have Redemption Song somewhere in my top five. But yeah, it's like the power would be right up there. So number 39, Inner City Blues, Make Me Want to Holler. So, of course, this is uh, what's going on. One of the, considered one of the greatest albums of all time. It made number one on the last Rolling Stone 500 list. And this is the first song by Marvin Gaye and the first song off that album. But I'm suspecting there might be two others. I mean, the title track would have to be on here. Probably a contender for number one. Um... Mercy, Mercy Me, possibly, it's probably has a similar stature to Inner City Blues. But let's scroll a bit more. So yeah, um, 38 and 36 are both songs by Pink Floyd off the Animals album. So this is basically a concept album based on George Orwell's Animal Farm, which is definitely a very politically tinge novel and the songs of Animal by Pink Floyd explore similar themes. And then 37, Machine Gun, Jimi Hendrix. And this is a live recording. And this is a powerful tune. I wonder if this will be the only Jimi Hendrix. I don't recall seeing a Jimi Hendrix song yet. So this might be the only one, but this song's powerful. And he does a phenomenal job of basically mimicking the sounds of gunfire. So it makes a powerful statement, especially during the time of Vietnam when he released it there. He got some super tramp, the logical song. To be honest, it's not a song I immediately think of as a protest song. But I guess it is a critique of certain, I don't know, false preconceived notions that people have. I probably have to listen to the song a little bit more closely. We got Bastards of Young by The Replacements, which I love the song. But it's also a tune that I don't uh, 
immediately think of as a protest law, but it is a critique of, I guess you could say, different cultural things that you just have to grow up in. And, and I guess it is a commentary on the social climate of that time. So yeah, 33, Southern Men by Neil Young. So it looks like it's the second Neil Young song. Don't know if it'll be the last. I'm suspecting there's at least going to be one song that he wrote for another group that should be on here. But yeah, Southern Man was basically a critique of Southern racism and also Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner was basically their response to Neil Young. And then 32, we got After Police by NWA. Definitely one of the more angry or indirect protest songs. It's definitely very upfront about being against police brutality. And then we got Bob Dylan. Is this the first Dylan song? I'm trying to think. I'm actually surprised there wasn't more Dylan on this list. Oh, we got Subterranean All Sick Blues. This one surprised me a bit. I mean, it's a fantastic song. It almost borders on proto rap, and there's the iconic music video. But it's not as politically direct as a lot of his songs. But I guess it is kind of a socially conscious song that has social commentary in a very abstract stream of consciousness way. So we got another Godspeed You Black Emperor. So I think this is at least the second one I see. They all have been, I have to dig a little bit deeper in, but I know a lot of the songs are very politically motivated. Okay, Zombie by Fela Kute. So this might be the last Fela Kute song. I'm not sure, but in my mind, Zombies is most well-known protest song. But once again, very influential protest artist. Maggot Brain by Funkadelic. So yeah, a lot of the not a group that I immediately associate as protest. A lot of the songs do delve into social issues. Bobby, I do like Maggot Brain, but if I have to re-listen to and analyze the lyrics a little bit more. So we got Straight Out of Compton by NWA. I'm actually surprised that it's ranked high or then fudge the police. But I guess it's good to know that this is basically ranked by star ratings of the songs. And these are songs that use protest as a descriptor. So it's not necessarily gauging. It's not necessarily a ranking of how well the song works as a protest tune. So I guess it's good to consider it in that context. And then we got 25, Mercy, Mercy, Me, The Ecology. So I mentioned I thought this song might make the list here. So definitely a song that does protest the environment. And, and I think it's one of the earlier songs to do that. So I'm suspecting there's going to be a, one other song off what's going on. And... The song's the obvious one, I'm suspecting. So I'm suspecting the title track is going to be possibly top five, maybe a contender for number one. So we got some Rage Against the Machine, Bros on Parade. So is this the first Rage Against the Machine song? I think so. I don't recall seeing any others. So it surprises me that they don't have a bit more. But yeah, every single song they do, qualifies. I'm suspecting we're going to have at least one other because I think Killing in the Name absolutely has to be on here. A Chair of Rock by Smashing Pumpkins. Maybe I, that's a great rocking tune, but maybe I have to analyze the lyrics a bit more. Yeah, and then we got another Ken Lick Lamar to Pimp a Butterfly. There's a couple of songs in particular I haven't seen off that album yet. So I'm suspecting they'll be on there. Okay, Child in Time, we previously, the live version of that made it. Okay, the times, they all are changing. 
I'm actually surprised at number 19 because I thought this potentially could have been number in the top 10, but how do you choose the best Bob Dylan protest song? That this is a timeless protest tune, so definitely deserves to be on there. We got some Children of the Grave by Black Sabbath. So they're a band that a lot of their songs touch on social issues and deal with like anti-war themes. So I'm thinking they might have at least one other tune. I'll be surprised if World Pigs doesn't make the list. Fortunate Son by Creedence Clearwater Revival. So yeah, definitely a great anti-Vietnam tune that was basically written in response to the fact that the sons of well-known prominent figures quite often weren't the ones that got drafted. Okay, we got a change is going to come. So I mentioned that before that I thought that this would be a top five too. I'd probably have it at number two on my personal list. So I'm a little bit surprised that it's only 16, but this is one of the most powerful civil rights anthems of all time. So 15, London Calling by The Clash. I'm actually surprised that The Clash haven't had more songs in the top 100, but they did have a few. Um, and the title track of their legendary album, it definitely deserves to be on there. So we got some Paper Planes by MIA, which is also a Clash reference because it samples Great to Hell by Paper Planes. It is a catchy banging tune, but it also it makes some um, commentary on different types of stereotypes and some commentary on gun violence. And even though it's stylistically different than The Clash, I think the the Clash and MIA all kind of they do kind of align in terms of their musical intent. So we got some electric wizard, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually not familiar with that song. And I probably do need to do a deeper dive into Stone or Metal. Hurricane by Bob Dylan. So I think he does have strong that to me are stronger protest songs, but this does meet the definition. Like it protests the one for conviction of Hurricane Ruben Carter, so the boxer who was unjustly charged for murder. So number eleven. So it's a little bit surprised because I would think I think of this probably as a top ten tune. But yeah, Killing in the Name by Rage Against the Machine. Powerful, hearted and tune that definitely critiques systemic racism and police brutality. This one's a little bit of a surprise because I like System of a Down, but the put toxicity ahead of Killing in the Name. But yeah, System of a Down is also an important political metal band. Okay, the next one, I don't want to butcher the pronunciation. I'm not overly familiar with it. I just recently started to get into MPB, which is basically Brazilian popular music. But a lot of the Brazilian music at that time does delve deep into political issues. Of course, because it's in Portuguese, you'll have to take time to dig deeper into the lyrics. Here we got King Kunta by Kendrick Lamar. Not a huge surprise. This is one of the highlights of the Pimp or Butterfly. It looks like we got another Kendrick Lamar coming up here, which is the one I was definitely suspected. But yeah, we got War Pigs by Black Sabbath. So I mentioned before there was going to be at least one other Black Sabbath song. This was the one that I was predicting. So War Pigs, one of the more powerful anti-war tunes of all time. All right, by Ken Lamar. I'm actually surprised that this one's not... Actually, I guess I'm not always surprised if it's... That's not top five, because I'm not sure we make my top five. But to me, this is the pinnacle of that album. 
um, it definitely was adopted as a chant, like we're going to be all right, was adopted as a chant in connection with the Black Lives Matter movement. Then we got Cream by Wu-Tang Clan, so cash rules everything around me. So definitely a catchy tune that does comment on, I guess you could say, anti-materialism themes. And it's a catchy tune. We got Give Me Shelter by Rolling Stones, which is definitely a strong commentary on the political scene of that time in the Vietnam era. And basically, Give Me Shelter was basically shelter from like the war and violence and everything that was taking place during that period. So a powerful tune, which also features some of the strongest backup singing of all time. Okay, what's going on? Number three, I thought it was a contender for number one, but yeah, it definitely deserves to be up there, one of the most important songs of all time. Wrestling's Fury by Kendrick Lamar. I probably wouldn't put it at number two. There's stronger songs off to Pimper Butterfly. But yeah, to Pimper Butterfly, even though it might be overrepresented on the list, it's an important album, one of the most important albums of all time. And then number one, The Black or the Berry. So like I said, I'd probably put all right above it, but it's an important socially conscious song. So yes, yeah, this is the top 100 according to Rate Your Music. So there were some surprises, some songs I thought should be higher ranked, some notable protest songs I didn't see on the list. There's no Phil Oates, which surprises me a little bit, maybe not a whole lot because I guess that's not all I am for. And you didn't have anything like Eva Destruction and a few other notable tunes. But yeah, this, as I mentioned before, is a list of songs that specifically use the protest descriptor. So I'm sure there are a number of protest songs that didn't make the list just because they didn't use that descriptor. So that concludes this video. So feel free to like, subscribe, Feel free to comment if you want to see me continue to make these types of videos. So thanks for watching and please stay safe.